Guys, I, it's late. It's like 10.45. Somebody just tagged me or mentioned me uh, in a TikTok video and told this woman that she needs to contact me to get help to home cook. Oh my God, I'm going to have to do a basic video and, and share it. It's just revolting to see some of these people home cook for their dog, adding red onion to, to the meal, saying that they're raw feeding, but they're cooking the pork in an Instapot, adding white potatoes, canned carrots, canned beans, and putting seasoning in, a seasoning pack, it, it I, I don't know what to say. Uh, I, when I saw the onions, I was just horrified. And then uh, somebody said, you know, she needed help. And the woman said, oh, I don't really know what I'm doing. Right, you don't. Please, people, do not home cook for your dog if you don't know what you're doing because there's a science behind it. You know, when I started home cooking, what was it, 14 years ago, and I had to because my vet told me to because my dog was vomiting four times a day on my carpet. I was scared to death. And um, she she said, this is my Bible that I used to home cook because she home cooked. And she gave me a book. And I don't really like to read, but I read that book three times from cover to cover and highlighted it and lost sleep over it before I even started to home cook. There's some basic fundamental things that you do and you do not do, okay? And I'll say a few of them here. I'm gonna have to do another video. The number one ingredient should be an animal protein, okay? Chicken, pork, turkey, beef, fish, okay? The number two ingredient, three ingredient, should be offal. What's offal? It's organs, spleen, kidney, liver, heart. Some people consider heart a muscle, okay? You gotta have organs. There's so many nutrients in the organs that's in, not in any other food. The number three most important thing you need to put in a dog, homemade dog food, is calcium, okay? And there's a certain kind of calcium, and there's a ratio of how much calcium you put in to, to your recipe. Why do you put calcium? Dogs in the wild, they eat the whole animal, carcass and all, and they get their calcium from the bone, okay? If you're a raw feeder, you're giving your dog bone. If you're a home-cooked feeder, you have to put calcium in, all right? What else is important in home cooking? You have to have an omega-3 supplement. You need that for healthy skin, healthy heart, for cognitive brain health, okay? Um, what else? There, there's a few other things, but this video was very disturbing to me. I am impressed that she did not put rice in it. You know, a lot of people, they think they know how to home cook. And this woman, she admitted she did not know how to home cook. But there's a lot of people that go on TikTok and they say, this is my recipe I feed my dog. And it's like, one pound beef to three cups of rice, okay? 
You don't put rice in a, in a home cooked meal. You don't put barley. You don't put what else? Pasta. Do you see dogs in the wild eating pasta or eating rice? No, they eat animals. There's studies that show that wolves in the wild eat blueberries, okay? But they don't eat rice, they don't eat pasta. Those types of foods are not species appropriate and they're gonna get your dog sick, all right? And onions are toxic. Your, your dog can die from onions, okay? All right? Uh, anyway, I do consulting. You know, it's one hour. It could We could do it any way you want to. I could just teach you everything I know, or you can tell me what you want to talk about. And I just don't do consulting on, on home cooking. I do it on supplements. I talk about vaccines. Um, I'm not a vet, but I've had quite a bit of experience with vaccines, in particular, leptospirosis, okay? Um, what else do I talk about? You know, I talk about, people ask me all the time, what kind of a ramp to get? What kind of a dog stroller to get? What kind of um, a, a, a bone to chew on? I don't do bones, I do other things, okay? For mental stimulation and, um, the cleaning of the teeth, how to clean your dog's teeth. I can teach you all of that. And you know, you don't even have to have a consult with me. I put all this stuff online. I have over 300 YouTube tutorials on recipes alone, okay? But it's gonna take you a long time to go through all of that and take notes. So in one hour, I can go through a lot. All right, so. In closing, I just want to say, uh, I give this woman um, a kudos because she said in a comment that she's just starting out and she doesn't know what I'm doing. So thank you for doing that because it's those women and men who put these horrendous videos out, had a home cook. They claim it's the best thing, you know, and it's horrible, okay? Anyway. It's late, but I just had to come on here and say that.